Hey guys, it's Natasha. Let's talk about making assumptions. <laughs> okay, so first off, what is assumption making? My definition would be thinking you know something before you know something, but the Google definition is a thing that is accepted as true or certain to happen without proof. Alright, so pretty much the same thing. My definition is more specific to like an individual person, whereas Google's definition, I feel like, is more specific to a group or like more than one person. So is assumption making a good thing or a bad thing? This is a really hard question because it's personal opinion. I think that making assumptions is okay to a certain extent. By this, I mean it's good to have a judgment of something before you do it. For example, if you got invited to a party with mostly people you don't really like, you could assume that you wouldn't have the best time of your life. I think making assumptions is crucial in making social decisions. This is so you can avoid putting yourself in a situation that you would not want to be in. Just to make sure you're comfortable wherever you are. The other type of assumption making would be assuming you know someone before you know them. This is not a good thing. <laughs> I've done this before. I still do this sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to do this. It's like judging a book by its cover. Although I do this a little differently. There's been maybe one time I've judged someone just based off of the way they look, and I was very wrong about them. <laughs> I remember being in fourth grade and seeing this one girl that I hadn't talked to at all. I'd only seen her. I assumed she was rude, I assumed she was like a tryhard. Is being a tryhard a bad thing? I mean, if you're trying hard, like, isn't that a good thing? You should be trying hard. <laughs> I'm getting off topic. <laughs> anyway, I thought this girl was just like bad news, <laughs> awful person, horrible personality, just based off of the way she looked. <laughs> wow, I was wrong. <laughs> this person is currently one of my best friends. I haven't judged anyone just based off of the way they looked since I met this person. Moving on, I usually base assumptions off of different factors. If I see one side of a person or one trait of a person that stands out to me in a negative or a positive way, I'd assume that that person would be driven off of that trait. I think this is because you only know that one thing about that person, so that's all you can really go by. The weird thing about these kinds of assumptions are that they're usually accurate. You can really understand the trait and the point of view, and it can ultimately lead you into an assumption that is correct. It's an unusual thing. <laughs> if you're going to be making assumptions, make the assumptions correctly or as correctly as possible because there's literally no way to make correct assumptions. <laughs> Just um, judge based off of personality, not looks. Make assumptions about social situations, not people you don't know. <laughs> this topic has so many sides to it, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thanks for making it through this video. This has just been a topic of interest to me this week, so I decided I should make a video about it. If you like this video, click that like button. While you're down there, hit that big red subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload every Saturday, so don't miss out. Also, be sure to comment down below and get a discussion going or something. I'd love to hear your guys' input. All of my social media links are in the description below, so you can click those. But that's all for this week. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye!